Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like, welcome you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dow back with another one take review. There we got one for The Witcher. Just dropped on Netflix, I guess, yesterday, because that's when I binged it. And, uh, spent the whole day binging this yesterday. Gotta say, I enjoyed it. But, there are some things that I just have to address. And it's, and it, to me, it's not necessarily with the show. And, and that. I guess it is with the show. It's going to be weird. This is a non-spoiler review. I think my spoiler review will probably be up Monday because that gives me enough time to like... I'm probably... If I'm being honest, I think I'm going to go back and rewatch the series just so I can kind of like clarification because now I think that the series is over. I think I have a better understanding of the series because I have seen other what other people are saying about it and certain things that I may not have been that, that clear on. I think I have a better understanding. Also, the end of the show kind of like lets me know like, oh, this whole time, like this was happening. So basically, it's a show. It stars uh, Henry Cavill, um, Anya... Charlotte, Charlotte, and uh, Freya Allen. Henry Cavill stars as the pretty much. I guess you can kind of say the main characters, but I think this show actually has like three main characters. Uh, one being uh, Geralt of uh, Rivia. He's a witcher, uh, which is um, a, I guess a cross between humans and witches. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna assume that. I, I do I know? Do they ever basically tell me exactly what a witch is? No, show sure doesn't do that. Uh, then you have Cirilla, who's a princess, and you have, um, played, well, she's played by, uh, F uh, Freya Allen, and you have Yennefer, a sorceress, a mage, played by Anya. And it's basically, the, the story is pretty much about destiny, about how certain people must meet to to do certain things. And I won't say who those certain people are, I don't know if you know, I, listen, I know nothing about the source material, okay? It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a video game, never played, and it's a book. Of course, I never read that book. You guys know I don't just read books, just to be reading them, you know? I heard that it's pretty good, but mm, it's not for you, boy. Nonetheless, I was entertained for a long part um, for most of the show. But I found myself when I was watching this, I didn't realize exactly what the hell was going on. I'm watching and I'm seeing events happen. I'm like, okay, that's happening with this person. This is happening with that person. Okay, that person's here. I'm like, I don't know how these people's stories connect with one another. Now I'm thinking maybe they don't connect with one another right now. Maybe they won't connect with each other to the end. And that's kind of sort of how it is uh, until... A couple characters meet each other, and you're like, oh, okay, but something still doesn't necessarily add up to me. And then I hear a person in the show say, hey, it's been decades, and I'm like, it's been what? And I got the episode four of the show. Eight episodes. I got the episode four before I realized each person was in a different timeline. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that, that. That statement right there pretty much might need to tell you everything you need to know. At that point, I said, I don't know what the... That's when I got lost. I mean, I, I even though... No, that's the moment I realized I was lost, okay? Because, like I said, episode four, I'm wondering, I'm like, this dude is doing all of this. This person is doing all of this. I saw this person die. How is this person still here? Also, that... that Completely threw me off, okay? And so I'm spending my whole time like, okay, when does it connect? When does the, everything get together? And when I'm like, I don't know. I don't know anything. You know what I'm saying? But once you get to the end, it all makes sense. But that's why I said I need to go back and rewatch it because now I have a better understanding as to like the time and how stuff took place. Granted, I understood it by the end of the episode, but if I think if I start off watching the show like that and I know exactly where people are and what time they're in, I think I would have a better enjoyment of it. And I think that's probably my biggest gripe is that I didn't know what was going on. The effects are really cool. Uh, I, I, they spent the, they spent the bag on it, the fight scenes, especially sword play, and this is like superb. Like it's. It's very, very smooth, and, and like the, 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 I think the choreography is like very good. Um, Henry Cavill is great as like uh, uh the Witcher, and like he the way he just got like, carries his team. But also, if you like nudity, it's a lot of it, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of titties, a lot of titties, a lot of sex. You know what I'm saying? If you're a horny person, I, I would probably.
highly suggest you watch this with uh, uh, a couple, I mean, a, a, a bag of ice on your, you know, just saying. Because uh, <laughs> now you'll be motivated to do a lot of things, just saying. Just addressing the elephant in the room. <laughs> just a joke. <laughs> oh, that was that. A very clean joke at all. Don't care. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I think. This is a very enjoyable series. What you realize what's happening, like when I, I, I take that back. I take that back. I think it's a very enjoyable series, even though you don't know what's happening. Because while the time I, I'm like, I don't, I, I, I don't technically know what's happening, but I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. Also, it, the first episode it throws a lot at you. Okay. I get throw so many different names and people of people and places, and I'm just like, maybe for the hardcore fans, but not for your boy. You gonna have to, you gonna have to slowly bring me in, cause I don't know exactly who the hell you talk. Who from where? That was what's the name, cousin? And she was fuck, she was fucking old boy. Oh, okay. I, cause I was lost. I was. I truly was. But, but for the most, I think it has strong acting. Uh characters have great chemistry and and now if if you know how I judge uh, 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 any story you know my biggest thing is the characters and endings and I think with this it has good a good it's good for both the characters are very good and likable because I hate unlikable characters two are more likable than another I won't say which but um and the ending, the ending's fire, literally. <laughs> like, the end is fire. And uh, I, it's just a certain moment at the end where I'm like, okay. It, and it, it definitely makes you be ready for a season two, and which I think I would have more. I'm leaning towards, I know, I'm like, in my mind, I kind of feel like I know I'm going to like season two more just because of what season one set up. Season one felt like a big ass setup to me. That is basically like giving you like history and stuff, honestly, about people and like how things were set up. And then like season two is like, it's kind of if Game of Thrones started with, mm, it's kind of like if Game of Thrones started with showing you, uh, what's the name, Revolt, the, uh, the, the so-and-so's Revolt. Can't even remember Game of Thrones, but like how the White Walkers and everything else got started, and then it goes into season one. Like the first, if the first season of Game of Thrones would have been like how the White Walkers came, Robert's Rebellion, yeah, and all of that would have been season one, and then the actual season one would have been season two, and just let you know how things go. That's kind of how this felt. So now I think I have a pretty much a better understanding when I go into season two. So now I'm just gonna be rolling. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think. That's probably the best way to describe it. And I just use Game of Thrones. I know people don't get tired of like the Game of Thrones comparison, but that's probably the best thing I can think of just off the top of my head to compare like what it what this introduction felt like kinda sorta. You know what I'm saying? I it's just kinda confusing, but I'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough to get what I mean though, right? Yeah, maybe not. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you thought about The Witcher Season 1 down in the comments. Uh, review, like I said, review for the spoiler review will probably be up either Sunday night or s Monday morning. So yeah, be on the lookout for that so we can get into the nitty gritty. And I'm probably finna go back and re binge the whole thing again just so I can, you know what I'm saying, make sure I got everything right before I talk to you guys again. Uh, so yeah, I catch up with you guys later. Peace.